going on Regal family. So today we've got a very, we're doing a very special meet. So we're meeting, we're in London again. We're in an old place. We're meeting Luke Ambler. So Luke's from the Andy's Man Club. And if you haven't seen it before, you might see a little campaign going around like that. Uh, we've done the picture. We did the pictures about a year ago, I think yep. now. We've put them up. Put them up. Of us doing this. Um, but basically guys, Luke created Andy's Man Club in the, with the mission and the vision to raise awareness of men's mental health and it's something that we're both very passionate about you know we've had our own you know low times since we've started Regal and especially with our products coming out especially with our products coming out we really want to also raise awareness about special causes close to our heart as well so this is a, an exciting uh, exciting meeting you know see how we can partner up seeing how we can help Luke with his vision and also we're going to sit down with Luke for, and ask a few questions about Andy's Man Club. Yeah, and try and give you some information on men's mental health, yeah. really. Yeah, like guys, it's crazy. Like, I, won't, I won't go into the stats, I'll leave that for Luke. But literally the stats are unreal for 18 to 40 year olds, you know. And it's something that we really want to raise awareness about. So yeah guys, so we're going to go off now. We're going to meet with Luke and then we're going to sit down with you guys. We're going to ask him some questions. I need to get some food first. And then we're ready to rumble. Let's go! Gonna punch it instead of go for a little punch. Oh, oh that's a new oh, one. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay. Right, so first question, Luke. Um, tell us a bit more about Andy's Man Club. Yeah, so Andy's Man Club's a talking group for men. It started back uh, in June last year because my brother-in-law took his life, Andy, in April, and decided to start a group for men where they could go and talk about how they feel. And so far, you know, just in Halifax alone, whatever 500 men use that club, which is, is staggering, really. It's a, such a taboo topic and. We had a goal of having 10 clubs in five years and now we've got you know, 15 clubs in a year so it just shows the scale of how big it's getting but because of the need for it. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think, why do you think there's such a stigma about men talking about their problems and being open about their, not weaknesses, but yeah. stuff that's going wrong in their lives? Uh, there's three reasons really, categorically, categorically speaking, why men don't talk. One is burden. Yeah. We don't want to burden with people with our problems because we think they've got their own stuff to deal with. So we decide to to not not burden them. Another one is uh, weakness because we come from a, an era where we were cavemen, weren't we? And yeah. we we still want to be that leader at pack. But social yeah. evolution's taking over, and women are becoming a lot more stronger characters than, than there was in historic days. I even look back at my, my little nana, my little Irish nana, she used to cook stews and all that stuff. Granddad go out to work. It's all changing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and men aren't keeping up with that. that social evolution and not you know as emotional evolution and keeping up with the social evolution so and the last one is embarrassment we live in a lad culture don't we where we're in whatsapp groups facebook messages and it's about being in a it's about accept, accepting that everyone has problems and it's not embarrassing to have a problem because if you really get down to nitty gritty with your mates they'll understand how you feel because they've probably experienced it themselves and and it's breaking these three stigmas down and that's what we try to do with Andy's Man Club. That's brilliant. So the one thing I've always been interested in is that when you, sometimes it's clear to see someone's going through a difficult time. Yeah. You get some people say, no, you can't ask because you you can't force it out of them. Yeah. But then there's other stories where they say, look, if you don't ask, people feel that they're unwanted. Yeah. So if someone has someone in their life where they think, I know they're going through a bad time, but I don't know how to approach this, what's the best thing they can do? Just be there for them. It sounds so simple. But just be there for them because people will speak when they're ready. Yeah. People will speak when they're ready. And it's just letting people know that it is okay to talk to you. You're not going to judge them. You're not going to throw your advice on them. But you're willing to listen to them and, and just listen. Yeah. And, and just be that caring person and be around. Be that one person in their life to know that you've got their back. Because often in life, when we someone is trying to tell them, we want to give them all our advice. Yeah. How we, what we would do, how we feel, how we felt. And sometimes it's just about just listening to them and let them offload. Letting someone know you're there for them. And it is as simple as that because a majority of suicides are done in an impulsive manner where it's just a decision and it's done because uh, lifestyle got too much. You know, 78% of suicide are by someone where life just got too much. So it's just about being there and changing the culture within your lad group that we all go through stuff. You know, we're all struggling with certain stuff. Relationship breakups, you know, uh, losing jobs, whatever it might be, finances, and accepting that it's okay uh, to mess up sometimes. Brilliant. And how about the other way around? If someone recognises in themselves that potentially have got those problems, what could what can they do to get support? I've got to reach out. Yeah. You know, there's Samaritans are a great. You know, I used to think Samaritans were a little old lady sat back at yeah. the church, and it's not. Yeah. Samaritans are cool. It's so cool. I've been out there in office, and you know, they've got some you know, twenty thousand volunteers, and people mm. are just like young lads, just like us, who are going through problems. 
and you know they're just they're there for people to speak to if you want something a little bit different and you'd rather go to a group environment where these guys just sat just talking just like we are now and these man clubs you go and you know we've got clubs all over the nearest one to London is you know Arsenal football now we've got one up right up in Scotland at St Johnston's Football Club Halifax and, and South Wales and everywhere in between so people can just come up to these clubs you don't need a referral you don't need to have a mental health problem you know, it doesn't need to be that if you've got a mental health problem that's fine it might just be a place you know that you can come when you're just feeling a little bit lonely a little bit down and you can just come and listen get a coffee get a cup of tea just sit and listen to other people um, or just turn up and talk about how you feel yeah. The one thing I find interesting is um, I've noticed, especially since men's mental health has got bigger, the word depressed and depression has come out more. Yeah. Is there, there's a big difference in there being depressed and then going through a bad time. Exactly. Yeah. How do you make it someone aware that maybe you're not depressed, you're yeah. just going through a really bad time in life? Because I find that interesting. Well, depression is an emotion, isn't it? You know, just like happiness is, just like sadness is. But it's, a, it's just like anger is. Yeah. You know, someone who's an angry person has got to learn how to control their anger, just like someone's got depression. You need to learn a bit of control your depression and find anchors to better anchor your state, you know. You know, stuff like going out for a run, stuff like surrounding yourself with people who make you feel good. Yeah. And, and there is a difference between having a bad, ta- a bad day and also yeah. being depressed. But at the same time, there's not much difference. Yeah. And the fact that you've got to, in the times of struggle, in the times of, of yeah. deprivation, or when you're struggling, the more, you've got to do them things that make you feel good. And yeah. your body and your mind will tell you that you're not doing that today because your depression has took over. But they're the days, you know, someone I know a lot of people find running when they're depressed. Yeah. And suddenly they, they think that they've beaten the depression, but actually with the running and connecting with other people and going and challenging themselves, that's what helps them get the yeah. depression. Yeah. They beat the depression themselves. And everyone can do that. You've got to learn to find coping strategies for you, not what someone else has done, what works for you. That's amazing. And the last question I had, and this is, I didn't realise the stats on men's mental health until your campaign. And when it said that the biggest cause of death for 18 to 40 is suicide, that actually blew my mind because you don't hear that on the news. You hear cancer and all these illnesses, but you don't think of something so unspoken. Um, Is there any other stats or that that are out there for men's mental health? Or is it like, is it increasing? Is it getting better? I thought it was interesting what you said then because you know we get told from a young age to check us knackers don't we? Yeah. But we never get told to check how we're feeling or yeah. up here. Yeah. And you're right, you know, there were a study done uh, by Calm, I think, that 42% of men who they interviewed had thought about taking their life. Mm. You know, 78% of men who take their life, you know, it's done in but They say that they want no mental health problems, <laughs> lifestyle got too much. Mm. But you know, what they say one in four people have a mental health problem, but that's all that they know about, the yeah. people that talk about it. So the, the thing is, we've all got mental health. We've all yeah. got positive, negative mental health, just like we've got so physical so positive, so so negative mental health. And it's yeah. just about training yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, um, to lead a positive life. And I think the more you can do that, the less chance you have of, of it in a real bad depressive state or being real low. Um, stats wise, I, I don't think there's much more out there other than that it's the single biggest killer. You know, one man every two hours in our country takes his life. Yeah. One man every two hours. So, yeah. you know. Chances are, I've been in London today for, for eight to ten hours, up to five minutes until the life in our country, which is bonkers. Yes. You know, it's, it's got to yeah. stop on it. And hopefully, by doing things like this, like yourselves and linking in with, with ourselves, you know, we can hopefully reduce that stigma and show that it is yeah. okay to talk because it is. Yeah. It is okay. To, it's okay to be upset. It's okay to be, you know, angry. You know, all that stuff's okay. Uh, but just learning to control it all yeah. uh, and speak about it and not let it bottle up, not let it, let, not let it explode. Yeah. That's amazing. Do you have any other questions? No, I think the thing is that a lot of men think that it's just a small deal, don't yeah. they? They think, oh, I'm just suffering something small, I'll get over it tomorrow. Yeah. But suicide starts somewhere, doesn't it? People don't just go straight to suicide, do they? They don't just jump straight to that. Exactly. You think it, you know, it starts with uh, a bad day yeah. or a bad hour, then you turn it to a bad day and you get fixated yeah. on it, it turns into a bad week, a bad yeah. month. So you've had a bad year and you think life's not yeah. worth living where yeah. actually, you know, and it says identity is meant, you know, we're finding a different role in society now. We're no longer this leader of a family. We're not, yeah. Well, we try to be, try to still go out and hunt me. Right, we still, still try to be that role, we still yeah. try to be this, don't think, but life is changing, we've got to accept that, we've got to find his role in society, yeah. and then we've got to accept that there's a lot of equality going on now, which is great, which yeah. is great, yeah. there's a lot of changes happening, and we've got to keep up with that, and it starts with speaking about how we feel, it starts with that, yeah. because as you said, suicide doesn't just, you know, it's not yeah. just I'm suicidal now. Yeah. It starts somewhere, and once you start to to, to look at the what you appreciate, the big thing is you appreciate what you've got. Gratitude, yeah. Gratitude yeah. is huge. 
I found the more I've found, the more happiness, uh, uh, the more happiness I've got is from becoming more grateful and more I've got. And the more grateful I've got, the more I seem to uh, uh, get in abundance. It yeah. seems to be that way, whether it be with business, whether it be with Andy's man club, family, whatever that may be. When I feel grateful every day. And since Andy died and took his life, and I had to tell my little boy, and the screech that he made rocked me. I've I've honestly enjoy every day I wake up. I wake up every day buzzing. I don't yeah. want to go to sleep. Yeah. And, and, that, and that's why it's crazy that someone who is such an ambassador of life, and I say that lightly, mm. not lightly, that I love life, which yeah. is so ironic, I run a suicide prevention organisation, mm. because I genuinely do love life, and I want to pass that to us, and once you start to be grateful for things in life, yeah. and stop filling your can't bucket, yeah. start looking at what your can bucket is, you know, we have yeah. two buckets in life, we're all constantly filling what we can't do, what everyone else has got and we don't, look what you have got and look what you can do, yeah. and I go do this with, with prisoners all over the country. Yeah. In, a, in an environment like that and once you start to realise what you have got when you can do your life becomes a little bit different yeah. and you've got to start stretching your mind and that's what people need to do so anyone's watching this who's feeling suicidal you know reach out go speak to someone um, and, and offload offload how you feel and then start to build the building blocks to yourself back on a positive road yeah. that's interesting because um, I remember reading a book once and they said there's something in our brain the RAT a reticular activating system yeah. where what you tell your brain it filters out anything that's not that so like when you're saying you're having a bad day you're having a bad day Day, and then you notice that little thing on the email you think oh my god I can't believe they said that exactly that's you telling your brain because they're just filtering out what you've told it basically because we're focus we're, we're focus goals energy flows and it's true yeah. you know you wake up in a day and you say today's gonna be a good day generally is yeah you say today's gonna be a shit day that's what it is yeah you said don't be a shit day it's still a shit day so you mind using the word shit day yeah yeah you might understand the word don't yeah. I want and everything I do whether it be with work or whether it be man is based on a principle called neuro linguistic programming basically neuros is mind linguistic is the is the language you use in programming is how we use language to program as mind language is everything yeah the language is the questions we ask yourself every day and we're we'll focus i went through a bad patch myself I just asked myself a question why me all the time yeah. why me why me why me more bad shit kept telling i changed that question to what's next what can i do next and ever since that day everything in my life's been good because i use what's next every time something bad happens big or small you say, what's next now? What can I do? Mm-hmm. You'll no longer let pain use me. I'll use pain as you know as fuel, and everyone can do that because we all have tragedies in his life. We all have. Each, you know, Andy's mantle will never bring Andy back, yeah. but, but never would not have Andy's mantle. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we've got Andy's mantle yeah. to keep him alive in some way, um, and everyone else is able to do things like this um, and be that person in your community. Who's a pioneer for men's men, men mental health, or mental health in general? Mm. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Well, I honestly, I wish abundance of success. Oh, yeah. you. One job for you. Yeah. You can look into the camera. How can everyone in the Regal community help Andy's Man Club? Uh, maybe follow you on social yep. and start moving. Everyone in the Regal uh, community can follow us, Regal Gentleman community, by, you know, we did a challenge recently where we got you to tag five friends and let them know it's okay to talk by taking a selfie. If you haven't done that, it'd be good if you can jump on your social and do that. Or just link them with us on social media and just be that person in your community always letting people know it's okay to talk and he's also realising that it's time to listen because it is. So remember guys, it's okay to talk. Amazing. Thank you so much, man. Brilliant. So that's it. We've just had our meeting with the guys at Andy's Man Club. Um, very good meeting. Very good. Very yeah. good chat. I think hopefully you'll Amazing take chat. something from that. But yeah, very good. Both me and Josh have both had our own issues with with mental health as we've gone. It's a it's a common thing within entrepreneurship. Yeah, yeah guys. It's just I suppose anyone watching this just it'll let you know exactly what Andy's Man Club is. It's, it's okay to talk. Um, zoom in on me, zoom in. Um, it is all okay to talk and literally guys, we're always here as well, you know, I know we're a business, but if you ever did want to give us a message, you know, we're, we're more than happy to, to listen. Um, but also, you know, if there's anyone in your life that's going through down times, that's the big thing I took from you, you've got to listen. Yeah. You know, you've just got to make them feel cared for. Well, hope, hopefully that helps some of you out to to identify it within, within uh, people close to you or to help out people close to you or to yeah. even you guys who are potentially suffering from something That's just it. don't be afraid to talk no no problem is is too small it's not stupid you shouldn't man up That's there's it. none of this like it is okay to talk and it is okay to have 100%. to feel like there's something That's wrong it. and guys what we'll do is we'll link in the link on Andy's Man Club showing you where all your the local clubs are so there's if there's one near you and you ever want to go feel free to go it's an amazing cause and the closer we get to our product launch the more we're going to be doing with 
men's mental health um, and that's a cause we really want to push going forward as a, as a business as well. So one thing we actually spoke about, we're actually going to be put, trying to put out monthly videos yes. on mental health. Uh, Luke's going to send us over some topics that he thinks will be great for us to talk about and then potentially we're going to talk about these in our videos. It's something as, as Josh said. Amazing. It's amazing. something as Josh said, we really want to get involved in this. This is something that um, we've, both, we've both had our issues with. It's something that obviously relates to Regal Gentlemen in the fact that the majority of our customers are men like you guys, yep. all the people in the Regal family the majority are men and they're within the age group who are most commonly suffering it so obviously we mentioned it in the video but suicide is the biggest killer of men aged 18 to 40 so yep. that's our customer base and it's something that we just want to get involved with so the more we can do the that's better it, guys. yep and I think it's also one of those ones like it's all good us saying it's okay to talk I think us doing our own videos it will actually will be putting ourselves out there and I think that's the best way to show it is okay to talk it's no point in us saying yeah it's okay to talk but we don't do it so let's just start off. we're going to be doing our own stuff and uh, go go easy on us guys go yeah. easy on us <laughs> right, right that's it guys hope you've enjoyed this and hopefully yeah as josh said hit up andy's man club yeah and as he said if you it is okay to talk with us it's okay to talk with people close to you it's okay to talk with andy's man club or whoever you want to talk to whoever you feel comfortable talking to don't be afraid to do it it's all about you random segment into a song it's all about you have a blessed week guys take care see you later guys